ignore this. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. <laughs> Jasmine. I'm 21. I'm a mom of three. I don't even know how to start this. I'm a little bit sick. We've all been sick like back to back for the last week. I'm the last one. So excuse my voice. I just really wanted to come on here and chat with you guys and sort of do like a life update and talk about things that I haven't really talked about on here. Open up a little bit like I used to open up on here because to be honest this past year has been pretty crazy honestly everything that's happened in this past year has been weighing pretty heavily on me and I feel like whenever I'm in a weird mental state I distance myself a lot from YouTube because I don't like people to see me down I guess not to say that this entire year has been terrible or anything because it's not the case but it's definitely been a lot has been going on not to mention we also have been adjusting to I mean we had our third baby Millie almost a year ago she's gonna be a year in like less than a month yeah just on top of all the things that have happened this year we also were adjusting to having another baby most moms know after having a baby just like your hormones regulating and postpartum can be like really hard for some people everyone has a different experience with it but definitely isn't really easy trying to like feel like yourself again after being pregnant and for me the third time in the last four years <laughs> so yeah i just want to come on here catch up talk about things that i haven't addressed before just kind of do a big life update on everything because i feel like i'm ready to come back and open up with you guys again and be myself on here again i feel like lately i've just kind of been posting on youtube to just post and not really being as genuine as i used to be let's get into it the series of events was me having millie last november the whole like two months after me having her was just like chaos. I like was really sick after she was born, got my wisdom teeth out. It was like back to back to back things. Anna broke her leg. That's like, that was what, January? And then for those of you who, who have been following the whole story about my little brother, my little brother was born. And honestly, I feel like that whole situation was the, sorry if you hear background noise, my family's in the house. Honestly, that whole situation which is ongoing with my baby brother honestly weighed on me very heavily i know i did two, like two videos really talking about the whole situation my mom had a baby earlier this year who was born addicted to drugs because of her substance abuse problems he ended up being in the nicu for a while i went to go see him the day he came home from the hospital because i knew it was going to be a wreck and there was no way my mom was going to be able to take care of a baby in the state that she was in at the time Millie was two months old, um, I ended up having to take care of him the whole night that he came home from the hospital. And then after that, my aunt flew out to take care of him. And since then, it was just like months. It was, what, like two or three months of like just complete chaos. Um, my aunt was taking care of him at another relative's house. I was trying to drive back and forth between where I live and where they were to help as much as I could and be around and go to like different court dates and testify against my mom. It was just like very stressful and I was having a really hard time managing that and coping with everything that was going on. Whenever things like that happen, because I mean like those of you who have followed me for a while know there's always something going on relating to my mom because she's such a main character. It really just brings up like trauma and is hard on me I kind of like shut off it was even harder because I mean it was involving like my newborn little brother it was just like such an emotional terrible thing to see and experience I will give a more recent update on that he's been with a foster family for a while it makes me really happy to know that he is with a good family and is safe and healthy but we don't really know what the long-term plan is for him I will give the more recent update on that but after that happened it was kind of like a final straw for you know my grandma who my mom lived with at the time 
and everyone in our family. So Logan and I, literally just Logan and I and our three kids were like, all right, like you guys, like my grandma and my two little sisters, like should just move to Delaware and leave. That was kind of the only way to get away from my mom because she refused to leave and her boyfriend is terrible. And obviously I was vlogging all this stuff and kind of like talking about it while it was going on. I feel like I was so like checked out and distant while I was trying to do that. That was also something that weighed very heavily on me as well. Just like obviously the physical stress of going back and forth and moving her out. Like literally just Logan and I and our three kids doing that on our own. My grandma always wanted to retire here. We just wanted to help her do that and figured like it's time, you know. I'm so happy that they're here. Like it's honestly the, been the best having them like be right down the road from us and knowing that they're just like in a happier place not having my mom and her boyfriend who obviously just have substance abuse problems and we're just always causing like trauma and stress and chaos for my grandma and my sisters however it doesn't really end because when she left my mom has refused to leave my grandma's house that she's been trying to sell and that's just been another thing that's just been like an everyday constant just like wait on my mind my grandma's been having to pay for her new place here and her place there my mom had so much warning that my grandma was going to be moving out but because she's been living there for a while she can't just kick her out she has to actually go through the court and file for eviction to get her removed even though she doesn't like pay rent or have a lease agreement she still has to file to evict her so we've been going through that process and it's taken months she moved here in june it is now october and she's still been living there my grandma's house is empty and my mom and her boyfriend live in the basement and my grandma's been telling her like you need to leave i need to sell my house i can't afford to keep paying for both places and like we need to put it on the market and she's basically just refused to leave which has been so frustrating because of all of the work that logan and i put into bringing my grandma and my sisters out here to be here and you know getting them out of the situation that they're in it's like it never ends for them it just makes me so angry i just want them to be able to move on not to mention she's also still fighting to get my brother back which is terrifying because obviously she was not capable of raising any of her other kids and for her to have a baby and for her and the guy that she's with to be raising a baby my baby brother is a terrifying thought so those two big like things that happened at the beginning of this year that were like long ongoing things <laughs> this whole year i've just been trying to like process and like get past what happened because it was a lot to handle especially with everything we have on our plate already so i just wanted to kind of come on and give an update on that because i feel like i've been trying to avoid even talking about it um i try to just avoid thinking about it because like <laughs> i knew this was gonna happen but anytime i just think about the whole situation and especially like my little brother who i haven't been able to see in like seven months it just makes me so sad as a sibling the social worker on his case is required to give me visitation and because i'm like an adult obviously like i can go and like figure that out um on my own but like nobody has reached out to me and i haven't been able to get any of the information until very recently about like who is the because like they changed the social worker on his case and everything so it's been like pretty impossible for me to get that information without being in contact with my mom which for the longest time I really wasn't because obviously we weren't really getting along with the whole situation with my little brother and also with my grandma and my sisters moving out you know she was obviously like mad that she was being kicked out because she gets to like live there for free not work so she wasn't too happy about that no more drug den in the basement for her so sad my mom actually reached out to me recently and gave me the social worker's information for me to schedule visitation and it was weird because it seemed like she was just doing me a favor the social worker called me and it turns out that she wanted me to i don't know the details but it it was more than just that but now that i have the information i'm hopefully going to be able to schedule visitation with him so that i will be able to see my little brother yeah, that's just been a really tough situation because we like have no clue what's going to happen and what we can even do it sucks that he hasn't been able to be with family and the fact that we had a family member that was like 100% willing and able to give him a happy and loving home and they still chose to send him to strangers is really sad and give my mom who caused all of this and 
hurt him in the way that she did. But to still give her a chance to try to get him back so easy is devastating and frustrating. The system failed him. It's failing him and it makes me really mad. Another thing that I wanted to address, so I'm not sure when this video is going to go up because it might be up before the video I'm about to talk about or it might go up after, but we just filmed a video responding to a bunch of like hate comments that we've been getting on Instagram reels, which was, it was honestly just kind of like funny. It wasn't like we were like crying about these hate comments, but um, they're all on Instagram reels and they're people that like don't really know us and they were all just like, tell me I need to close my legs because I have like three kids before I was 21 and like whatever like stupid comments like that uh, so we were going through and responding and there was so many comments about Layla's biological dad and I wanted to address something about that and kind of go deeper into our relationship because honestly I watched this movie and <laughs> it was this movie on Netflix The Luckiest Girl Alive if you guys have seen that and um the girl like wrote this story for like the news or whatever magazine about like something that happened to her and her boss was like stop like defending these people that hurt you and like tell the story like nobody's gonna read it like tell the story how you want to tell it and don't worry about what anybody else thinks about it and I feel like that's one of the things that I've like always done but every once in a while I'll hold myself back so much because I'm so worried about like sharing things that are gonna offend other people even though it's my truth and my like 100% my right to share my story. When I get emotionally distant because of things going on, um, I feel like that's one of the biggest things is that I feel like it's a lot harder for me to share because I'm like a lot more afraid of, <laughs> I'm a lot more afraid of what people are going to think about the things that I share and like don't want judgment or whatever. I just want to go a little bit more into the details about my relationship with my ex because so many people were just saying like how could you just take his baby away from him like you don't get to just choose to just take his baby away from him and all this stuff which was honestly blew my mind because a lot of these people like they must not know the story at all maybe some people do know me and i haven't really shared enough detail for them to know why i just took his baby away from him because it's not what happened <laughs> I guess for those of you guys who don't know, my daughter, Layla, my oldest daughter, is four. I got pregnant with her when I was 16, and her biological dad has never been in the picture. He's seen her four times, and we haven't heard, f I mean, I've heard in the past two years, I heard from him once on Layla's birthday each year, so the past two years I've heard from him two times. I do see one of his relatives every once in a while, like a few times a year for her to see Layla. He, I don't think it is even around here anymore, but there has been some new things that have happened, like involving him. Obviously he isn't actually like in our lives, but he's still always gonna like be uh, a subject in our lives, if that makes sense. Layla, I did kind of do a video about how she has been asking more about him because I've always wanted to like be open and honest with her about how like you know Logan isn't her biological dad. More recently I've like showed her pictures of him and talked to her and tried to explain it to her in a way that she'll understand. When I got pregnant with her when I was 16 we were together but we I was like so young and our relationship was very just like toxic and I didn't like see myself really having a future with him ever. It was just sort of like a summer like fun relationship and he was like super obsessed with me and I like liked hanging out with him and being with him and all that stuff but like realistically I knew that it wasn't gonna work out because he wasn't the kind of person that like you know I wanted to like bring home to my family. It was really hard to get out of the relationship at the time because he was very I want to say like manipulative but also just like obsessive. And there were some times that he went to like major extremes to try to control me and keep me around. Definitely talked about it a little bit before, but just to go into more detail, I mean, there was one time that I tried to leave his house. I think this was before I was pregnant. I tried to leave his house to go to one of my friend's houses. Whenever I wasn't with him, if I was like with anyone else, he would find me. One time I tried to leave his house, go to a friend's, and I walked out to my car and he grabbed me by the neck to try to stop me. From leaving and I honestly have terrible memory like in general but like that is one thing that I will like never forget that moment because I was like what just happened I should have ran and never looked back 
but no matter how many times I tried to do that, he always, like, he, he wouldn't let it go. I got to the point that I had to call the cops because I would block him and he would make a new phone number and text me and threaten me and say that he was gonna... So, yeah, it was, like, very, very hard to get away from him. We went to different schools, so when I was in school, if I wasn't answering his texts, he would show up. He would go into the office and pretend that he was my brother and he had my homework just because like just to get me down to the office to be like why are you answering my texts he knew my schedule down to like the room that I was in so he would come and show up and like he would sneak into the school show up to my room my classroom that I was in and stand outside the window and it got to the point that like I was a new kid at this school and people literally knew me as like the girl with the crazy boyfriend that is like stalking her and breaking into the school. So that was embarrassing and terrifying because it felt like there was absolutely no way to get away from him and eventually I got called down to the office and the school like security guard police officers were like who is this guy like coming at me like like I was in trouble and I was like to my ex-boyfriend like I broke up with him and he won't stop showing up to the school and they were like oh my god we're so sorry like we'll keep you safe like you're fine. I, I hated like being dramatic and I didn't want to like cause a scene ever but there was one time that I tried to break up with him and he, he followed me home. Um, I locked all my doors and I lived with my aunt at the time. Everyone was asleep and it was late at night and I went in I locked all the doors and I saw him walking around my house trying to find a way into the house. And I finally went in my room and like hid and tried to just go to sleep and I woke up to him banging on my window screaming at 2 in the morning because I was just trying to break up with him. It was such a traumatizing relationship and I was I was 16. Obviously this whole time like we are having consens consensual intercourse and I wasn't on birth control at the time. I was just such a troubled, lost, dumb teenager. Obviously I didn't have like the best upbringing but I was making a lot of bad choices. Not saying that I was like perfect or an amazing girlfriend or whatever, but it was a very abusive relationship. Once I finally like was like, I'm done, like we were broken up, this is, we're done. I found out I was pregnant. Like immediately after I finally like got the courage to just completely cut things off. I found out that I was pregnant. I found out at school and I called him to come pick me up and he immediately said like, I knew you were pregnant. I've been trying to get you pregnant so that you wouldn't leave me. We stayed together for like a few more weeks and I was like just debating on what to do, how to tell my family, all that stuff. And finally I decided that like I was going to keep the baby but we were not going to stay together. But I always was open to him seeing her and like even open to like potentially working things out with him. Um, even though I didn't find it very realistic because he was so troubled. He also like had a very troubled childhood after that. He just went down a very bad path. But I still always was 100% open and like asked him to come see his daughter and never asked for money or help or anything. I asked him to come see her. He came twice when she was a newborn and then didn't come again until she was about four months, five months old. And at that point I was dating Logan and he like didn't see her again after that. And I think he probably felt uncomfortable with like about like me being with Logan and all of that but he didn't make any effort again to see his daughter um so given all of that information for people to be commenting and saying like you just took him away like you can't just make that choice he's a father and make all of these ridiculous comments about that is frustrating because they obviously don't know any of the backstory and are so quick to just go and defend this man who's a father so I felt like I had to come and say that and sort of put more of this detail about our relationship out there because it's just not fair for people to be saying those things. At the end of the day, it's not like I feel like I have to validate myself or my story or my situation to anyone, but I just think it is also helpful information to put out there for other people in similar situations because just having comments like that on my page might like, is like steering away from, from like my message that I'm trying to put out. It's like doing the opposite. I would hate for other moms to like see those comments and think that like, that's right. Other than that, um, more recently, uh, he's just like, he's been out of the picture and not even around here anymore as far as I know. And I actually heard a lot of things about him, um, but one that he potentially has another kid. Um, and I didn't really know if that was true, but from the different people that I've heard and pictures that I've seen, I think that it is true. It's just like another kid that he's abandoned.
potentially. I don't I don't know the current situation on that, but pretty sure that the kid is here and he is not. There's that. Also, another girl that he dated went through like the exact same thing that I went through with him more recently and she reached out to me and told me her story and I just felt terrible that she like went through the same thing. I don't know, I was glad that she reached out and like felt comfortable talking to me about it. It's scary having like being in a relationship like that and her situation like uh, was pretty crazy too. Um, I actually talked to her about doing a video with me one time or something so maybe we'll still do that. Um, at the end of the day I am extremely grateful for Logan and everything that we have and honestly that he like Layla's biological dad has remained uninvolved because like I, I hope that he it's because he sees that like Layla has a good life and is fine. Um, I remember my dad was like never involved and like told my like other relatives that like he chose to just not stay involved because he thought that like my life would just be better without him because like he saw that I you know had my grandma and my other relatives and he obviously wasn't in a good place either. It's funny because he's like really similar to Layla's dad from what I've seen but which is like crazy because I never even like you know how people always say you like date people that are like your parents and I never even met him and still ended up with someone just like him. Like always hope for the best for him. Our doors will always be open for him to come and build a relationship with his daughter if he is able to, you know, like get his life together and we obviously wish that for him. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really am like glad to be, I don't know, I just really want to like come back and reconnect with myself and you guys and doing YouTube like I used to and not just doing it to do it like actually doing it with the same passion that I used to have for my YouTube channel which has like just gone like I said like dwindled because of everything that has been going on this year also we do have a lot of other like projects that we are working on behind the scenes that are not YouTube because I do kind of want to change things a little bit about my channel which I will talk about more in the future as well but I do kind of want to steer a little bit away from vlogging as much and do more like themed styled videos just because the kids are getting older and uh, we'll talk about that more in the future but we do have other projects we're working on I still am always working on music and I released my song and I have so many in the works that I've been like wanting to release it just always takes me so long still is a huge passion for me and something that I've always been working on and yeah some other projects thank you guys for your endless support i love you all so much you guys seriously are like a second family to me and always have been being able to come on here and just like talk to you guys and have you guys like comment and chat with me and dm me and like have similar stories all that is means the world to me i have on idea with me now come here what? Thank you. It's Aquaphor. Uh -huh. Um, what is in your hair? Uh -huh. What is this? This is mac and cheese. Uh -huh. <laughs> you guys are like my, my friends, my second moms, my sisters. <laughs> like, I know that sounds corny, but seriously. God, I ran into a subscriber the other day, and it was in a store, and it was like an woman probably in her like 30s maybe and she had like a teenage daughter and um like a bunch of like other girls like different ages and the daughter was like wanted to take a picture with me it was like super nervous and like her and all of the kids like came up to me it's for your lips put on your lips and you know the girl came up and took a picture with me and the mom was like i've like watched you and your girls grow up and it's like i was also a young mom and it's seriously like so amazing and I started bawling in the middle of Marshalls. Like, I'm gonna cry again. It was literally like the sweetest moment. I was actually vlogging, so you guys will probably see that vlog soon too, but I was literally crying in the middle of Marshalls. I was this. crying in me. No, mommy was crying in Marshalls. Why? Cause it was like, it was like a happy cry. You know how sometimes like you cry when you're just so happy? Does that happen to you sometimes? Or no, not really. No. <laughs> okay. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Um, I love you all. Can't wait to see you in the next video. I really want to get a this bunny tree now. Okay. Can you say bye to the vlog with me? Bye. Say bye. See you in the next video.
Say bye! Oh, oh, close! Cover it again! Don't get Alcafor on it. Okay, bye!